I want to do a quick lesson about doing isotopic notation. Now this is the format of isotopic notation. A lot of times we have the uh, atomic number written down here as well. Okay, this is the mass number, this is the charge. And those are all clues on how many protons, neutrons, and electrons there are in this atom. So we would, you know, use the idea that atomic number is the number of protons, the mass number is the number of protons and neutrons added together, and we're certainly going to have to use our periodic tables in order to look up these different symbols. So we're going to try a couple examples and then give you a chance to practice. So, if we had nickel, okay, just the fact that it is nickel, we can look on the periodic table and find it over here, and that is element number 28. So we know that down here they go with 28, and that's the number of protons. Now, we do a little subtraction here. We find out that means there's 30 neutrons because this number up here, the mass number, is the number of protons and neutrons. So if we subtract the protons, we get the neutrons. Now this last number over here, the electrons, we have to take into account the fact that this has a 2 plus charge. That means that there are two more protons than we have electrons. So these two numbers determine the charge. If this was 28 over here on the electrons, then it would be neutral. But since it's plus 2, this must be 26. So we have two more positives than we have negatives. That's why it's a plus 2 charge. Here's chlorine. Now chlorine, again, we have to go back and look at it. Chlorine's over here. Okay, that is number 17. So that means there are 17 protons. We're going to write in a 17. If we subtract those two, we see we have 20 neutrons. And the fact that there is no charge on this means that the number of protons and number of electrons must match. And that's how we do that one. Now going backwards the other way, okay, if we just tell us we start with protons, if we have nine protons, we find out, okay, that's over here, that's fluorine. Okay, nine protons means fluorine. Fluorine is always nine protons. So let's put that in, put the nine. Now these two together... Okay, add those together, that makes up the mass number, the protons and neutrons. So together it must be 19. And we see over here, here's 10 electrons. So if I had 9 and 9, it would be no charge, but I have one more negative than I have positives. So I know that I have a negative charge on this isotope. Okay, last one, 37. 37, we have to look on the periodic table and find it down here, rubidium. So we know our symbol is Rb. We know 37 goes in the corner. So 37 plus 50, okay, that's our mass number, so that's going to be 87. And this is 36 electrons, 37 protons. I have one more positive than I have negative, so that ion has a plus charge. Okay, so here are some problems. So go ahead and pause this guy for a minute, try these out, and then we'll go over the answers. Okay, first one, we have 80 protons. That's the key thing. So I look up here, 80, 80, that is mercury. So we know our symbol is Hg. And if it has 120 neutrons, we're going to add those together. I didn't write my 80. There's 80. Okay, 120, uh, 200 total. So the mass would be 200. And because the electrons match my protons, I know that there is no charge on this uh, isotope. So we're done. Okay, nickel. I've got to go back and look at nickel. Nickel here, we did that before. That has 28 protons. Okay, subtract so these two. I can see I have 30 neutrons this time. And again, because there is no charge on this, it's neutral, so my protons and my electrons must be the same. Okay, the next one, 30. 30, we have to look here. It looks like zinc. Okay, element number 30. So my symbol is Zn, and I'll write the 30 down left. Now I have 30 and 36. Those all weigh 1 each, so all together this is going to be 66. So zinc, 66. And now look at these two numbers. Okay, I have 30 positives, 28 negatives, so this has a 2 plus charge. Okay, chromium. Chromium, we have to find chromium. Here it is. Okay, and chromium looks like 24. So this number is 24, and I'll write a 24 in there. Okay, if I subtract those two, I can see this is going to be 26. 
So because 24 and 26 together add up to 50. And I have a 3 plus charge. So that means I must have 3 more positives than I have negatives. So this must be 21. And that's how we do these problems.